Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution, our Uganda playthrough here, episode 3 with the series. We're doing pretty good. We've made some significantly uh, impressive contracts with countries around the world over the last episode or so, and basically just trying to get this number to flip into a budget excess. I'm hoping that we can start building some sort of national treasury. It'll really just uh, free up some income that I can use to continue improving the country because boy do we have a lot of things to fix we've got um, unemployment which is skyrocketing inflation which is I think finally uh, still going up we've got a really bad housing situation terrible transportation terrible health environments etc etc so Resolution number 2397 on the South Korean Initiative China military intervention mandate. The resolution was rejected. A permanent member country of the Security Council vetoed it. No way. No freaking way. China vetoed. Because obviously they're not going to vote to go to war with themselves. So the war is not going to happen. China is literally going to take over South Korea and nobody's going to do anything about it. Maybe, unless South Korea fights back. Don't underestimate South Korean military. There's U.S. bases here, too. And just because the United States nations did not vote to intervene in the conflict doesn't mean that other countries won't intervene. The United States themselves may intervene uh, once firefights break out on U.S. bases. And Japan might intervene as well. And North Korea might even get involved because North Korea sees South Korea as rightfully their territory. Yep, there you go. And then on top of that, um, North Korea is not going to like all these Chinese ships floating through North Korean waters. But there you go. United States just declared war on China. So even though it didn't pass through the UN, um, China was like, or United States was like, yeah, no, we're not going to let you sit there and keep bombing our military bases. So now China and the United States are at war. Meanwhile, I see North Korean forces deploying. Because North Korea is at war with South Korea. This is getting crazy all right we'll keep an eye on that that's kind of exciting i want to see where that goes all right so let's go ahead and mess around a little bit with taxation we're gonna keep going with the company turnover tax here i want to increase that another percentage 250 million i think everybody's pretty cool with that people are that's all that matters we'll do a new reform here um Get that bad boy going, 250 million. And I'm going to add that on to an employee social security drop, which people just love. I'm wondering if I want to also drop Company tax. Company tax is pretty low at 18%. I think I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, what else can I get away with? Tax and industrial pollution. That's 103 million. People like it. Parliament's kind of all over the place with it. So let's. that's, that's a lot. Hopefully that doesn't uh, give us too hard of a time. What have we done? Oh, just credit rating? Well, whatever. Your country's I could care less about these credit agencies. Nice, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Big boost there. The people love you, I'd say. Bad figures for unemployment. Well, we can fix a lot of that now. We'll have the money here to do it soon. I wanted to. Happiness declines. Well. 165. Boy, it actually does decline. Environment. The national defense. Yeah, we're still hurting for requiring troops. We have strong suspicions that this organization is preparing to carry out an attack. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We better address that now. Withdraw a large sum of money, rented a van. Hmm. We'll arrest them. 
we have proceeded to discreetly arrest this suspect who is now being placed in isolation. It seems we were right. This was the head of the organization as confirmed by evidence taken from his computer. It seems that he was preparing to coordinate a massive operation. We don't have all the details, but the police department's anti-terrorism... Oh, yes! We caught the head of the organization. No way! Okay, let's place these guys under surveillance here. That's perfect. That, that'll do a massive blow to them. Our governmental cell informs me that it has had the opportunity to approach this potential informer. Yeah, go for it. Hey, we have a GDP of 33 billion as opposed to 28 billion, so we've grown our GDP. All right, so things that people were unhappy about. Environment. It's going up. Health was another one. We can fix health. Thanks to the surveillance of the airport security agents that the attack was avoided. Perfect. In light of recent events. Perfect. Okay. What would it cost us to build an airport? Just because I'm curious. An intense traffic airport. Yeah, we're not going to be 2.2 billion. Iran declares war on America. <laughs> oh boy, I'm getting nervous. It's like World War III starting and it had nothing to do with me. China <laughs> just fired off World War III. I mean, it literally had nothing to do with me and everything to do with everybody else. Is Japan involved yet? No, not yet. One of our minesweeping teams succeeded in defusing a bomb in a train department. Awesome. It's true that the blow cannot really be described as Yes, and we partially dismantled them. Investigation after the arrest of the head of the organization. We have oh, yes, we dismantled a large part of the organization. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, we did some serious damage. Perfect. And we're trying to infiltrate them now. Our governmental it's kind of crazy to me because it's like World War Three is breaking out and usually it's me that it, that causes it but decrease relating to this reform okay perfect and there's our hundred percent Armenia declares war on Japan or on Iran oh my god Deep popular resentment. The population finds the tax exemptions granted to businesses very unfair given the fact that they are already paying a lot of tax. The situation clearly displeases the vast majority. Well, I can take a look at tax numbers. Well, uh, uh, I've lowered Social Security, though, so it can't be too bad. Right? I would think so. Oh, we got a budget excess. 0.18 billion. Nice. Look at that popularity. Armenia calls to the UN to issue ultimatum against I Iran. Jesus Christ. What are you doing, Iran? Armenia. Yeah, no way. Oh, you're going to... Yeah, Armenia doesn't stand a chance. Iran's going to just yeet them into space. All right, yeah. Yeah, not even an issue. Turkey here has a disaster. Why don't we send 10 million in aid just to let them know that we're thinking about them and we care. They'd be available ally anyways. We should be working on getting a military alliance with Turkey. We've almost infiltrated everybody around us too. Your commitment to defending family values. All right. Okay, I want to take a look at our happiness again. So 164. Um, environment. Health. Okay, health was the one that I said I could probably um, alter a little bit right now and fix.
reimbursed for hospital treatment, reimbursed for prescriptions, almost a hundred million. That's how expensive all of this is. Prevention and vaccination would help a lot. 38 million. We can up that a bit. 6 million. Fight against cancer. 9. Um, geriatric departments. I don't know. Emergency department. Maternity. 10. Fifteen million. All right. Let's confirm that. Just trying to get health going. Trying to build a strong health department in Uganda. I don't want to do any other infrastructure stuff until after. Okay. Until after... Um, We've got a significant budget. I don't know if I want to budget access, but I definitely want a national treasury going. Uh, treasury reserve. Because that'll be where we're going to want to spend. You know, I don't want to be taking any debt if we don't have to. So we got to pay a lot of this debt off. Who knows, though? Maybe if China conquers some of these countries, they'll forgive our debt. China has completely destroyed this this area here took it out their naval base they're trying to take that city there um naval base here an air base under attack not destroyed north korea went to war with south korea hmm and is the united states sending troops over not yet Not yet. Our fiscal performance in the last quarter is poor and shows a deficit, which has forced us to undertake mm. an issuance of debt so that our national and international lenders can take it over. That's not too bad, though. Our infiltrated agent. Ah, damn it. All right, let's keep growing our army here. Oh boy, it's kind of slowed down though, but we can up commandos by 200 more. All right, we can spend some money here on environment. Environment always makes people happy. The heck is this? Law enforcement and members of the far left party are confronting each other at this very moment on the city streets. The authorities advise residents to stay in their homes and barricade themselves inside. These riots follow the sentencing of an emblematic activist of the movement who violently assaulted a member of the government that he claims had provoked him. Oh, crap. What the heck happened now? Left-wing extremists? Ugh. I'll appear on television, try to see if I can calm people down. I don't want to do anything that's going to hurt my popularity a lot. The rioters have... Th the rebels have... S Your television appearance does not seem to... Now well, some protesters leaving here and there, so it might go away quick. The rebels have stopped fighting our action. Okay, it looks like it's working. The situation is not in our favor. I advise you to order deployment of our soldiers on the ground. No, I do not want you to order deployment. The situation. Refuse. I do not want the military getting involved. I'm trying to not paint a bad picture. 
Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year. I would take an 18% growth forecast. Unemployment 4% is pretty good, so at least Without it's down. Without surprise, the paramilitary units of the enemy have entered in action. This is war. What? Oh, crap. They did it. They actually do have armed. Uh... Holy crap. This is a lot more than just an uprising. This is literally a takeover. I'm trying to get to the bunker. They're not going to get past my commandos here. Although these, these kind of enemy troops might. Okay, I guess I'm getting the military involved after all. Necessary intervention by the army, I'd say. We don't have much of a choice now. These renegades engaged paramilitary. Yeah, get them, get them. The national defense does not. Yeah, demand for electricity. That was one more thing I was struggling with. Yeah, that cleared him up pretty quickly. We have subdued. Uh, countries declaring war on Iran. So, the UN has decided to go to war with Iran. So, Russia declared war. Believe it or not. Oh my God. We have to keep things practical. Oh Jesus. So, what's going on here now? Iran has actually still not managed to take Armenia, which is impressive, but now they've got every country around them fighting them, including Russia. So they should have probably have gotten that steam. Now they've lost it, so they're in trouble. And now enemy forces are pouring across the border into Iran territories, but not to be ran over. Iran is going to meet with fierce resistance. Look at these troops rolling in here. There's a lot of troops coming in. Those Russian missiles, though. Damn, where are those coming from? Russian missile launcher here, level 5 in the back, as well as a lot of Russian fighters, which are mostly stationed right on the Russian border here outside Georgia. we got Russian military bases in this area as well. Yeah, those missiles are causing a lot of damage, but Iran missiles taking out helicopters. Jesus. And still a lot of conflict going on here, too. Well, <laughs> the world's a lot more of an exciting place. Our governmental cell informs me that it For South it Sudan, go ahead and approach. Zero point fourteen ten, still low. Uh, all right, we can do another company turnover tax. What else can I stack to that? Employer social security payments. Tax on industrial pollution. Okay. People love that environmental crap. All right, nice. Our infiltrated agent was. Of course, he was spotted and murdered.
We'll go ahead and send somebody else in to try and deal with it. We've got all our files good, or at least this one. All right, the power situation. Let's take a look at the energy situation. Our government. Or Earth Overshoot Day. As you know, every year, organization calculates the Earth Overshoot Day based on the amount of non-renewable resources that humanity removes from the Earth. Well, that day is today. We have now consumed all the resources that the Earth can renew in a year. Our ecological credit continues to diminish. We are still heading for a dark and uncertain future. Soon, we'll be back in the Stone Age. What? Get out of here, Tom Kubrick. Night friggin' Jesus. Okay. Ah, oh, the foreigner is a threat. Where is that? What do we got for immigration? Company illegal immigrants to the border. People don't like it, but the everybody here is pretty much for it. All right. Uh, foreign nationals voting rights, launch a mess, conduct operations, see establish aid, establish the integration policy, moderate and balanced, restrictive and monitored. Opened. Like open borders? Ugh. Restrictive and monitored. I think it's not... No aid, okay. Well, we can't have that many people coming in. Immigration and thousands of people. Migration flow by year, negative 29, negative 39. Ain't anybody coming in. Immigration rate out of a thousand. People are immigrating out. <laughs> if, anything, if anything, I should be ex telling people they can't exit the country <laughs> versus not entering it. Oh my god, this guy's like a lunatic. Like, yeah, I kick these people out. They're a threat. Like, they're leaving on their own, buddy. I don't have to kick them out. <laughs> Our government. All right, energy is what I keep trying to look at. I can't build a um, nuclear plant until I have the research to do it. So all of our... But we could go like 100% green. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. Expensive. And not very sustainable, but we could do it. We could do like a gigantic solar plant. Annual production capacity is 0.100. That's terrible. Aha. Uh -huh. 0.200 for wind. Cost over five years, 93 million with annual reimbursement of 24.9 million. So it'll cost me 24.9 million over five years, 100 million total. It'll take six months to build it. 0.200 terawatts. 0.200, what do we have to gain from that? How far behind are we, I guess, is what I need to see. National electricity demand has gone up. Production cap electricity, 0.200 is really not going to do it. But it'll be a start, I guess. Geothermal, terrible, terrible. Biomass, I think, is burning trash or wood. And that's not really that great. Annual production capacity. All right, let's do the solar. Solar is 32. So solar would be cheaper if we built two solar plants. But it costs, it takes more manpower to build. No, man, more manpower per building. So is, is it really cheaper? Why don't we do, 
Let's do some wind first. Uh, let's do some solar first because it's cheaper. All right, let's find an area where we're going to put these where they hopefully won't get a, they won't get uh, obliterated during a war. Where's a safe place to build like our power infrastructure? I know we can put it like anywhere. Oh, it'll actually tell me. Oh, okay, okay. So it's actually going to tell me if it's got good production capacity. So good is fine, but we really would like to get very good if we can. Like there. That's probably a safe place for it too. I don't think we can put it in the water. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So very good is what we want. So actually it'll put out more terawatts depending on where it's at. This is all in the forest, so probably not as... Oh, actually this is very good. All right, I like this here though. It's actually be safe there too. All right, go for it. We should get... National defense does not... We should get uh, some pats on the back too from people for this. It's gonna take us a year to build it, roughly. Yeah, maybe we'll throw like, you know, four of them up here. Or something. China discovers robotic exoskeleton. Cool. All right, so if we get the power situation handled, that'd be kind of neat. Hey, the cash reform passed. Now I'm thinking I might want to lower our taxi our taxation on the people maybe I'll think about it. Let's see. What else would the US buy from me? What do I have a lot of? Wood, water supply, tobacco, tea, synthetic fibers, sugar cane, sugar, software, soda. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff here worth selling. I'm just trying to get some more money. gold, but we don't have a lot of it. Fish. They will buy a lot of our fish. And if we can get it closer to their 3200 sale price, that's even better. Okay, bargain concluded. So we've got spies in all these nations now. Minister for Health threatens our action, whatever. CO2 emissions. Pay attention. Recent trends in our CO2 emissions are disturbing. According to the projection curves, we are currently in compliance with international objectives for 2030. Congratulations. We are in compliance for our objectives for 2030. Okay, so that's good. Why is this... Why is the 2019 version like all about climate change, global warming? It looks like it's going down to me. I don't see a problem. Social inequality going down. Armed conflicts going up. I can't imagine. Why? Nuclear conflict. I hope we don't have nuclear conflict happen. Unemployment going down. Okay, so this is like brand new for 2019. Interesting. I don't, I'd have to explore that uh, that whole system more. I don't fully know all, how all of that works. 23, no. Why is average purchase price going up? Okay, that was weird. Our infiltrated agent. Oh, damn it. They spotted him again. I'll have to get the budget for these guys up higher if we're going to stop getting spot um have them stop getting caught. Military intelligence, industrial espionage, counterintelligence, fight against terrorism, agent training, fight against terrorism and agent training. 20 million.
How's happiness look? 162. We're going up a little bit. Employment. Housing is the big thing. Ah, damn it. All right, it was fish. We'll start at 36. Let's dump a little bit more money into our housing. Not that it's going to matter. It's going to go up by like probably 2,000 by the end of the year. Uh, but just whatever, I guess, can help. We'll do 20. I did 36, so let's do 34. Industry, industry, we're already working on it. Recruitment for the military, we can look at that again. We've almost maxed it out, so let's go 53. And another 100 commandos. So let's go 30, 32. Secret Service is happy with me. Um, inflation is skyrocketing. Hmm. All right, 13%. After this, we got to stop. Or we're going to be making, as bad as it sounds, we're going to be making too much money. 31. So hopefully lowering that will help a little bit. I want to get inflation under control. Okay, what do we got here? Burundi, Madam President, I have proof that we are producing chemical weapons in secret in Burundi. I've already communicated this information to your secret services and they have recorded it in their files. A crunchy revelation that is worthy of these small premiums with which you favor those who serve you with enthusiasm, right? Oh, all that? Thank you, Madam President. My pleasure. Hmm. Okay, so we could approach the UN with that, maybe. All right, 1.6 billion. I will take it. That's going to probably hurt us. We have negotiated a splendid contract that will undoubtedly help improve our economy. Again, well done. Oh, well, what can I do? We got a budget excess of almost 300 million now, so we've completely turned it around the other way. Is that really the Mississippi flag? I never knew that. Let me see. So let me look at the Secret Service. Let me look at what they've got here. So exterior um, to a head of state. No scandal. Let's see. Where's my... So President of Burundi, production of chemical weapons. Okay, so if we take that to the United Nations, can we get a war with them validated? Provide proof that a nation is a threat to international security. Ask Security Council to authorize a military intervention against the country. So if I want to, I'd have to probably provide proof first. Burundi. It is. Confirm. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Interesting evidence, but insufficient. Damn it. After examining your request, the evidence that you provided with regard to the threat presented by Rundi is interesting. Nevertheless, it is necessary to state that it is not what one might call concrete evidence. You can, of course, give it a try, but without guaranteed success, it may even run the risk of backfiring. So, meaning they may grant us something, but they may not either. 
I'm gonna go for it anyways. That's the worst they could do, no? I think we're ready for it. What's their military look like? 30k to 52. Well, we could be in a little trouble. I may uh, want to up my commandos some. Spend the 5 million. Start training them now. Our network. Fifty three, let's get this up to fifty five. It should be helping with employment. Our infiltrated agent. I have a chance to murder the head of state very quietly. It is obvious that an act so contrary to my principles requires symbolic incentive, let's say one million dollars, so that I can gather the strength to tackle this. Daniel Carrigo, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Um, yeah, actually, he doesn't like us. You can see the country doesn't like us. So if we go ahead and eliminate him, they could potentially put somebody in power that's a little bit more in line with us. Happiness increases in Uganda, 161. National wealth going up, stuff like that. Did inflation end up turning around or is that still? It's starting to kind of peak a bit, but the, the decree actually doesn't go into effect here soon, so we might be able to still turn that around. Our budget excess here in regards to our budget and our GDP is probably pretty, pretty uh, acceptable. It's at a pretty acceptable level. It's going to be hard to grow our country because we got such a small GDP. The chicken is in the oven. I'll spare you the sword details of the operation. Speaking about the terms of the fruitful, fruitful collaboration, blah, blah, blah. So, okay. They, she put a bomb in there, blew the him up. And it worked. So we were, we eliminated their president. So they'll probably get another one. Not sure if that's going to help us or not. Everything has been implemented in the country to prepare for the national holiday. Okay, national holiday. National defense. Constantly complaining about the national defense, like, listen, we've grown it already almost 10,000 more than what it was. Unemployment's going up? No. Yeah, I guess it has gone up a lot. Our sportsmen are ready, but if I may. Yeah, sure, you can encourage them. I doubt that we're going to win anything. I haven't looked at sports in a while. What are we, are, what are we investing in? Competitive? Actually, we've got uh, some stuff here. Not a lot. That could all be maxed out. It's pretty cheap to do. The Security Council decided to proceed with your request for military intervention against... Burundi, while proposing Resolution 2399, this resolution will be subject to a vote at the next session. I wanted to point out that you still have the possibility of meeting with foreign heads of state and government like current members of the Security Council. So now we're going to start meeting with them. Your committed. The competition will Okay. And what do you want? Volume purchase. You want to buy bottled water? Why does everybody want to buy bottled water? Okay, members of the Security Council, China, let's see, let's meet with Russia, if he'll meet with us, and the US, and the UK. They canceled all my meetings, I won't be able to meet with any of them, so we're not going to be able to sway anybody. Good news, our fiscal performance in the last quarter shows a cash surplus. This will help us reduce our debt service. Let's keep it up and we can get a treasury. $118 million cash surplus. That's fairly small. There's no way that that's going to be paying off our debt anytime soon. But at least we're not accumulating debt, so that's a good thing. A budget excess, excess of $300 million now, so we've swung it the opposite the other way. Repeated electric, electricity outages, which we're working on. Ah, malnutrition. We got to work on that as well. 
and the tourism industry, Jesus. The farming, there should be legislation or something here, budget. Monitoring food safety assistance for converting to organic. I could care less about that, but I wouldn't mind working on monitoring food safety. At least get one star in there. Start have that being a thing. And inflation. Oh, we can actually go higher than 15, huh? 20%. Well, we'll go in 14% then. All right, and we can't do anything about the electricity problem till this is all done. Or we buy electricity from a country around us. Um, Rhonda. Actually, he'll probably meet with us in person. So we could always buy electricity from them. They do like us. All right, with that being said, we're going to cut off here since we're out of time. Anyways, I think this is a good place to leave it. The war with all these other countries kind of breaking out. It is chaotic for sure. It looks like Iran actually did manage to take over Armenia. Look at that. Now they're just fighting the Russians and everybody else. But they did actually uh, win that in terms of what they were handling. Meanwhile, over here between South Korea and China and North Korea, it's a big mess. Like, huge mess. I don't see this turning into anything anytime soon. There's actually South Korean forces kind of landing in China, but they're not even getting a chance to really do anything before they get pushed back. Yeah, this is crazy. All right, we'll leave it off here. Thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.